Alright, we're in the semi finals playing Kisha Don't even know how to pronounce his name. Nishikari. Right, we're playing Nishikari. I'm loving this game so far. Please tell me if you're loving it down in the comments below. I'd love to know if you're loving the game, are you loving the playthrough? If you don't like the playthrough, tell me what to change and um, I will consider changing it. Welcome to this match. Oh, that was shit. Yeah. He didn't bother going for the line on that shot. He just decided to thump the ball straight down the middle for a winner. The pros and cons are hitting your shots deep. The pros are you give your opponent less time to come up with a pass. Whoa. And less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. Yes. Yeah. What a comeback. Jesus, I know they lost it then. Point now. Oh. Beast for hand. Fantastic tennis. Suddenly put the pressure right back on the opponent straight away. And we're starting up yet again. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, have that. Don't you dare come near my net, mate. Dog. Hey, bro. Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so I think he's got to be hoping that, uh, you know, gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too yeah. crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope the opponent misses. Well, a couple of weak shots from his opponent, but he's he's got the he got the break. But well, he did a couple of good things there. That's well done. Well, he's in the right position. Yeah, I've got the fastest serve. For the match, should he go for the lines or should he play safely? Yeah, that's a great question because you get to this weird position and you often change gears here. But you get a little bit of tight and you start missing first serves and allow your opponent back in the match. The oh, that was shit. Can you keep playing the same? You figure the guy's gonna start to figure it out. Oh, oh so my it's god. A bit of a dilemma here, serving for the match. Well, there's no pressure when you have to hit the ball down the middle for a winner. That's a great play. Oh, I thought I got an achievement. Shut up, Cameron. Yes. Well, what a way to set up a match point. Clean win. Match point already. Well, he's composed himself really well here on match point. Oh, nearly lost that. that you've pointed to perhaps the entire year maybe even your entire career so much effort goes into that and now you have that opportunity you have to hope that the nerves 
I got into the final of Australia Cups. Yeah, what's this? Uh, Korea play Rod Laver Arena at Australia Open based. Oh, Boris Becker, come on then! He'll be using the bloody old fashioned one. I bet it'll snap if he does it too hard. Fuck yeah, I'm so tired. I know it's unprofessional to be tired, but I am. Dun -dun -dun. Let's watch the opening. Ginger, ginger, ginger. What the fuck? I've got hairy hands. Did I say hands then? Oh my god, I can't even tell. Nice bat, bro. Bro. Well, expect a fantastic match today between these two. Let's get into it. <laughs> all right, John. Discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons. First of all, I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time, and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommended to hit <laughs> hit with depth. No. What the. Got really the wrong way. Shit. I wanted to do it that way, yeah. Sure it's nice. good to handcuff your opponent and maybe not allow him to extend himself off the ground and the ground shooks, but basically when you get out on a court, this is a matter a test of wills and a test of fitness, and you want to see how well your opponent hits on the run Game. and what type of <laughs> level of fitness he's got. <laughs> Bye bye, Boris. And here we are, about to start up again. Oh, hey, what the fuck was that? Oh, no, it was a shit serve, mate. Don't get your ropes up. It's not gonna be happening again, not on my what? Come on, what's happening? How can an old fart be beating me? Ha! I run the back foot and then I manage to still beat her. Oh my god, come on. I want a good rally. But at the end of the day, I still got a job to do. It's got to be an accurate serve here. <laughs> Look how short his shots are, I didn't even notice that before. Oh my god. Well he's got it all lined up, John. He's serving for the match. Can he pull it out? Oh, it's all about nerves now. You dream about this position to get to a point where you're serving for the match. But that's often the toughest game to win. That elbow starts hurting a little bit, the legs start getting a little weary. What the f Oh my god. To get those first serves in. Yeah, it's a fucking one. 
Come on, I fucking won my first cup. Ah! They fucking said it was a match point. Oh, what a fucking bruh. Serve me. Gotta keep on getting snooker mixed up with tennis. Beautiful, beautiful. Certainly going to give him a lot of confidence. Championship point. Well, it's all over. He's won the Australian Open down under. What a fantastic performance! Yeah, it's always unpredictable. Come on. Win the Australian Open. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, I think. That just about wraps this part up, so thanks for watching. I will see you in the next part. Peace out, guys.